dear students let us continue with the chapter cyclones and floods so we will go to the next part of the lesson so in the last class we learned about cyclones what are cyclones they are powerful spinning storm they contain strong winds and rain they normally form over oceans and come towards the land so now let us see what are floods how the cyclones cause floods so dear students when cyclone hit the land area the powerful wind destroys everything in their way that is nothing but the wind which is very powerful it like when the wind is very powerful either it will be in a tornado that is as we discussed in the last class either it will be spinning or it will be a very strong wind where the land shakes or the trees and the leaves shakes very badly so this is a powerful wind which destroys everything in their way so when you look all of the sudden when you see the sky or when you see the air strong wind around you that time you say that the weather is not well right the weather is not proper so this powerful wind says about the destroy everything that is they hit the cyclones hit the land when there is a powerful winds they may uproot or break the trees below blow away the roofs of the building displace the damage vehicles and electrical post and so on uproot trees means nothing but the trees come out from the root like this they destroy the uh, they destroy the roofs of buildings uh, they blow away the roofs of building then they uproot and break into trees that is the trees break off when there is very strong wind then it damages the vehicles and it damages the electrical post also when there is a strong wind we don't know what happens right so it is a very danger it is very danger okay students yes so the next one is cyclones push the sea water into the land so when as i said cyclones are normally form over the ocean so when the ocean is overflowed or when the ocean is more cyclonic then the water comes out into the land so the ocean water itself come into the land they also bring heavy rains with them strong rains last for hours or even days all these leads to flood so what are the causes these are the causes of things which is known as flood a flood is a sudden rise in a water level making a land area submerged in water so as you can see in the last picture you see a full of water right a land full of water this is nothing but submerged in water that is the heavy rainfall which is being done or the heavy or the powerful wind which is destroys everything and the powerful rainfall which destroys everything and the water which is overflowed comes to moves towards the land that is how it forms the flood when the water is moved towards the land it the land becomes flooded that is the level of water comes to a land a land area and it is submerged in water okay students i hope you we, you all have learned what is cyclones and how cyclones cause floods right yes so let us learn the next concept in the next class thank you class enjoy learning